All right, what's going on, folks? It's uh, Milk Muzan here with a uh, brief instruction on how to hook up your Comtran 3100U router. Uh, I got Paw Patrol playing in the background because of my beautiful granddaughter. This is keeping her occupied while I do this video. So, you want to plug in your router, and you also want to plug in the Ethernet cable and plug that into the back of your laptop or computer, whatever you're using. Then you want to right click on the Windows logo, hit Run. And you're going to type in CMD, which is Command, CMD, hit OK. And then here you're going to enter IP config, I P C O N F I G. And we're going to see what that says. Hit enter. Okay, this is the problem that a lot of people run into. When they first connect this, and you look under the Ethernet adapter, Ethernet section, you're going to see the 255 or whatever, but you don't see anything under the default gateway. Alright, here's what I found you need to do. You need to go ahead, go to the router. You need a small screwdriver or a toothpick or whatever. Disconnect the Ethernet cable. And in the back, hit the reset button, okay? The reset button is right next to the power. So we're going to leave that plugged in. Let's see if I can get to it here. And videotape at the same time. All right. All right. So I'm gonna hold that in there for like 30 seconds. The lights are gonna start blinking on the front. I'm gonna wait until I see a red light towards the right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's see. It's resetting. I think I dropped my. Uh, Need to hold it a little longer. Sorry about that. Trying to multitask here and groove into the Paw Patrol music. All right, let's see. I think this might get it. Bella, can you help me? Hold that for me. Hold it for me. All right, so now Bella's helping out. All right, so I think that did it. Okay, so we got the one light back on. We're going to unplug that for about 30 seconds. And then while you're there, you'll just close out the uh, command window. All right, Bella's going to plug that back up for me. No, we don't need that. Here, plug it back in for me, Bella. Plug it in right there. Yeah. No, that one right there. Push it all the way in. Let's look for some lights on the front. Alright, now, Bella, if you could plug that in the back there for me. Alright, there in the yellow one. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that on top. There you go. Plug it in right there. Push it in. Alright. So, Bella has helped me out there. We got all that stuff hooked up. Let's make sure it's very tight. Okay, we heard the click. Now, we're ready to go back to the laptop. And right click on the Windows logo again. So right click. And we're going to hit run. I'm going to hit command again. And then once again, we're going to type in IP config. Hold on, Bella. I know it's going off, but we'll, we'll know it's going to come off. All right, so we type in IP config. You see it's still showing 255, right? In the uh, Ethernet. All right, so what we're going to do is unplug this. About 30 seconds. And we're going to plug it back in. Now this should change. You're not going to be able to do it until it changes, so uh, just remain patient. Type in command again, CMD, hit OK. IP config, right here. Alright, so we still get the same thing. So we'll let that sit for a minute. And we'll try it again. Let's 
see when you get this to change. And hit run again. Command again. And I P to V. Gotta be a little patient. It'll work. Alright, there it is. As you can see, the uh, internet address changed there and we have now have a default gateway. So it took a couple times, but uh, we got it now. We got what we want. 192.168.11. Now you're going to take that and you're going to put it into your browser, and that's going to allow you to open up. Now you won't be able to do this until you get that. So you just can't type in this number and go. You'll get an error. 168.1.1. Hit enter. And I says authentication, authentication, authentication required. I apologize, I'm a little nasally today. But your username is root, R O O T, and then your password is one two three four five. Okay, so this is going to get you in where you want to make your changes. You click on uh, wireless here to the left. That's going to show you your SID, SSID. Alright, so you have your SSID there. And then if you want to see your wireless password, you click on security. Right there. And your wireless password, along with the SSID, is right there. Now you can change this simply by clicking in the box, but it will pop up right there and show you what the password is set to right now, which is a default password. So really, if you look at this, the uh, Comtran CA491 is actually just Comtran plus the last four digits of your uh, MAC address. And then the uh, password is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, the last 10 numbers of your MAC address. So really, that's all it is. So Unless you know how to make other changes inside of here, and you know what you need to do, then go for it. I have no idea, but uh, this will get you to your SSID and your default password, and you can change those. You can change the password by clicking here, and just going in and changing it, and then hitting uh, Apply Save, and then if you want to go back to your SSID, you just click right there under wireless and you change the name of that and then at the bottom hit apply and save. Milk Muzan Comtran 3100U.